Canva templates is the perfect resource to help you streamline your design process, whether you're making marketing, marketing graphics, printable products. But one thing I get asked all the time is how do you make them unique to your brand? I think this is very important because most of the time you definitely want to keep your graphics on brand. Side note, if you're a member of my uh, Money by Design template membership or you purchased one of my sets, you are totally welcome to experiment with using the graphics in the colors and fonts that they come in. Uh, pop in your own content and um, you know, have fun with it. You, you don't have to change the colors. And I think there's a time and place to do that. Pinterest is one of my favorite places to experiment with off-brand graphics. However, if you want to build brand recognition and make templates unique to you, it's important that you brand them. Today, I'm going to share five quick tips to help you edit any Canva template like a pro. Before we get in, there's this overarching theme, and that is being consistent. Picking things and being consistent with them is going to be the number one way to make graphics um, unique to you and start to stand out and make them recognizable with your brand. People will start to recognize your graphics when you're consistent with these tips before they even like register your username or see who shared it. And it'll really help you stand out in the busy social media feeds. So with that, let's get to the five tips. Number one, apply your brand colors. You need to be using consistent colors all the time in most cases like i mentioned uh use them on your website i would use them on your the main like social media platform you show up on and if you already have your brand colors in canva you can do this in the matter of seconds by heading over to the style tab in the style tab you click on your brand colors and it automatically pops them into the design and if you want to click it again it'll start shuffling through how the colors are used within that template Tip number two, following along on the same theme here, is being consistent with fonts that you use in the graphics that you share. You can swap out the fonts to um, um, one or two brand fonts that you use all the time. And again, you can do this in the style tab if you've already assigned uh, brand fonts in Canva. Number three, Add relatable creatives, like photos and creative graphics that um, are one, relatable to your topic, but also that have the same style that you stick with consistently. <laughs> There's our word of the day. You can decide on a style of photos that you use in any templates that, have, that include photo placeholders. Maybe you want to always use light bright photos that have lots of, of white in them and you they're just kind of like airy. Um, you can use Canva's photo filter to quickly kind of help you really narrow down in this type of photos that you want to look for. You can look for photos in your brand colors. The same with creatives. You can decide if you want to have very simple icons anytime you use sort of a creative element in a template or you could swap them out for, um, you know, more like sketchy, doodly, you know, super fun, creative elements. And just be consistent with swapping out anytime you see a photo or an element in a template. Swap them out for ones that are more fitting with your brand style. Now, tip number four, we're gonna get off the, cons the consistency uh, trend just a little bit, because sometimes you may not be working in your particular brand colors. I already mentioned I like to do this on Pinterest. Maybe you're creating um, printable products for your shop that you wanna have in a variety of different colors. And you can quickly do this still by heading back to the style tab in Canva, because as you will see, they have some preset color combinations and fonts, and you can click through them the same way you do your brand fonts. Another option to get some good color combinations quickly in Canva is to actually search in the colors. So click on the background or anything in your design that you can change the color of. Go act like you're gonna change the color, but instead of changing it, you can type pink or you can paste in a color code and then you'll get a whole list of different 
uh, color combinations that would look good together that you can try out in your design when you're wanting to go off brand, but you can still quickly edit a template. And then my last tip, number five, is to have a thing. Now I know that sounds kind of vague, um, but this is kind of along with the creative elements, but just have a thing that you always do or add in to your templates. Maybe you always highlight a word with a color block around it. Maybe you always want to add in your watermark to one of the corners of any kind of marketing graphic you share. Maybe you always want to have um, this certain kind of like creative background in your graphics. You just kind of pick a thing, be consistent with it for a while and see how it goes. So we talked a lot about consistency in most of these tips. Now, one little caveat here is to not get stuck. You're not carving any of this in stone. You're not making a decision when you pick a thing or pick brand colors if you don't have them that you have to stick with forever and ever. You are still allowed to make changes and have fun with it. But it's just the consistency over a certain amount of time that's really going to help you start to become uh, recognizable in feeds and that will make any kind of template unique to you and your brand. So if you have any other questions about editing your templates like a pro, let me know in the comments below. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Cheers.